Today we're going to be swapping out the straight six engine of the BMW M2 competition and we're going to replace it with the 730 horsepower 6.5 liter V12 engine of the Lamborghini Aventador. So right here we have our stock BMW M2 competition engine. It has 404 horsepower. It's a three point liter straight six cylinder engine. And as we saw before in the dealership, we have our 730 horsepower, 6.5 liter V12 engine of the Lamborghini Aventador. Now, I guess it makes sense to see how they both sound in the garage. So let's do that. So here we have the straight six cylinder stock engine of the M2. And now we're gonna to go to the V12 of the Aventador. So let's go and buy it, I guess. $400,000, holy crap. Let's do it. All right. Now I think it's only right to put everything, all our performance parts on Elite Plus. I didn't unlock any Ultimate or Ultimate Plus parts. I honestly am probably not gonna unlock those parts because I hate driving at night in this game. So uh, yeah, Elite Plus it is. You can see right here we have 1,053 horsepower on a 6.5 liter V12 engine. That is pretty dang good for a BMW M2 competition. Now I'm gonna leave this car completely stock um, in terms of everything else. I'm just, all I did was mess with the engine parts. I didn't mess with the chassis or the drive train. I'm just gonna leave that stuff alone for now. We're just gonna focus on the engine. This car has a lot of wheel spin. Holy crap, those first, those two first gears are not good. We gotta do something about that. Maybe, maybe race tires, some different types of tires will do something. Oh God, can we get to 200? 200, please, 200. Oh, we're there, oh God, my bad. So to get the most out of this engine, I decided to upgrade all of the chassis stuff, the suspension, the super, I think the brakes are the same. And then the drivetrain, we got Elite Plus clutch, Super Plus gearbox, Super differential. I think this should make a huge difference in performance. So let's see. But first I gotta change, let's change these tires. I guess I'm gonna put on-road tires. That's usually what I use on-road. All right, so this time, instead of just having the engine upgrades, we also have the chassis upgrades and the drivetrain upgrades. So this car should drive really good, or at least I'm hoping it does. Okay, that was good. That was good. I think I saw I think I saw 206. That's pretty good. I like that. I'm impressed. So after all the upgrades, we have over a thousand horsepower, zero to sixty in 2.5 seconds, a max torque of 668, and a top speed of 232 miles per hour. 